After a beautiful journey through the mountains, we arrived at Amatrice, and the mood changed. This once popular mountain town lost its appeal when an earthquake took many lives in 2017. Its remains haven't been cleared up since, and the emotion of this tragedy still lingers in the faces of the few locals still here. Look, look people's clothes. This house belonged to my grandma. She used it as a holiday home only a few times a year. Her and my uncle were visiting for my nonna's birthday and unfortunately became victims. And five years later, I find myself in a sea of rubble, searching for anything that reminds me of them. Our neighbours were lucky enough to escape. This is where their house used to sit. Tonino hopes he can rebuild his beloved family home and bring happy memories back to Amatrice. The town is working on restructuring safe buildings while preserving its essence, though there is still a long way to go. Was it a known thing? Despite what happened, the area is too beautiful to abandon, and the locals still enjoy their favourite spots. Our neighbour Pasquale brought back our cat as it got stuck in yet another hole. We had already blocked up her safe house under the sink, so she tried escaping up the chimney and decided to come down hours later when she finally got hungry. Yeah, but I didn't know how to grab her. She is now a black cat. She's a lot more confident now, having breakfast with us in the room. So today's the day we're building the bed, and I'm gonna do, well, do something there, I don't really know what yet. I'm gonna build it off the ground, but... We've got to do it in one day because we don't have enough space out here. Crap everywhere. There she is with a banana in her mouth. Some Ikea boxes, free wood, ready to go. Mine's using the new drill. So Maya had a mare today and dropped Pasquale's um, drill on the floor and it just cracked in half. So we've been out and bought a brand new one. Maya's getting grips with. We've got the base for the bed, we've got the cupboards. Then we have a little bit under here. What you doing now? Bed slats now, Maya's just marked on these. Wow. Right then. Let's see how this fits in. Like a dream. Like a fucking dream. Next one. <laughs> what is this? This is the worst. Oh, yeah. Go on. Put some power into it. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, I went into the IKEA thing. What are you up to now? Bloody an electrician now. Look how many cables there are. I really didn't. It's a bigger job than I thought. So this electric line went into the centre of the room and the ceiling and then across the middle 
whereas we're just going to move it so it runs along the side of the wall instead of right in the middle. <laughs> we had a massive breakthrough with Lola. She finally trusted us enough to play with the mouse. It's the first sign we've had that she can be tamed, and I'm sure it's the start of a great friendship.